Whether you want something cool and modern, or something more fun for the kids, painting stripes on a wall is a great way to get a bold graphic look. You can run the stripes vertically up and down, which can make the room look taller, or horizontally left and right, which can make the room feel more spacious. You can also play with the thickness of the stripes. Just remember, the thinner the stripes, the busier the pattern, and the more patience you'll need in taping them off. First, paint your base color across the entire wall using the lighter shade of the two colors you've picked. Let it dry for at least 24 hours. Now you're ready to stripe. Remember, to get straight lines, don't expect a tape measure and multiple pencil marks to do the trick. It's easy to get mixed up and make a lot of mistakes. Plus, not every wall is precisely straight or at a 90 degree angle. Using a level is the best way to get your lines nice and straight. Next up, figure out your stripe spacing. This is important to ensure you end up with an even and consistent pattern on your entire wall. How to calculate stripe width. Choose a stripe width that can be evenly divided into walls width or height. Generally, four to 12 inches is a good width. For vertical stripes, measure the width of the wall. For horizontal stripes, measure the height of the wall. Here's a quick tip. Paint an odd number of stripes on your wall. This will ensure you get a complete pattern on your entire wall surface. Make small marks on the wall where each of your stripes will be. An easy way to do this, create a guide the exact width of your stripe and use it to make your marks. And don't worry if your measurements don't come out completely perfect. Variations up to a half inch are not visible to the eye. Now you're ready to create the outline of your stripes. If using a traditional level and pencil, mark your stripe widths across the wall, use your level to draw a light line continuously across, and make sure they're straight. If using a laser, you don't have to worry about it, the lines are already done for you. Put a tiny X in each of the stripes that you plan on painting. This helps you keep the pattern and spaces organized. Now it's time to apply frog tape. Be sure to choose the right grade for the surface. Here we're using delicate surface because this wall was freshly painted. Here's a good tip. When applying the tape, place it on the outside of your pencil line. That way the paint will cover up any marks you made on the wall. Always remember to seal all the edges or burnish the tape by running a plastic putty knife or card along the tape's edge. That prevents gapping where the paint can bleed through. When it's time to pull off the tape, try not to wait until the paint fully dries. Pulling the tape off immediately will give you super sharp lines. Always pull the tape off slowly at a 45 degree angle backward toward the wall. And don't forget to control the tape as you pull it off. You don't want it dragging or bouncing around on your freshly painted stripes. Painting stripes takes time and patience, but if you follow these steps, you'll be sure to make your stripes look crisp and straight. 